What's up, everybody? Sidon Cat here. Got some Dragon Quest news. Um, and I'm going to go into this first mentioning uh, the Sky's ROM hacking thing and the Final Fantasy Type Zero and the possibility of a lawsuit there. And nobody freaking knows anything at this point. Uh, Sky hasn't posted anything on his Twitter since the 19th. So it's just totally up in the air. I don't think anybody at this point knows anything about what's going on. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until then, neutral, I guess. I mean, you know, if Square Enix is suing somebody over a ROM hack for a translation, then fuck them. Uh, if they're not, and it was in actuality just a cease and desist, then okay, they're protecting their copyright, and the way copyright law works is they kind of have to, which is stupid. Um, still, fuck them for the Xbox One PS4 announcement instead of on the Vita like everybody wanted. Uh, anyhow, Dragon Quest news. So, it has been officially confirmed at Gamescom in Europe, I want to say Germany. Square Enix has in fact said Dragon Quest IV is coming to uh, mobile devices in the West. Hooray! <laughs> is it going to have party chat? I'm going to say probably not. I will be really, really, really surprised if it has party chat. If it has party chat, people are going to go freaking crazy because it's not something that I really care about much. I usually forget that party chat exists, but a lot of Dragon Quest fans were really, really, really upset that DQ4 on the DS didn't have party chat. and They felt that that made the game just a terrible, terrible port altogether. And, you know, personally, I don't care. There are other things that burn my britches about localizations. That is not one of them. <laughs> um, so the release date is whenever they feel like it, uh, which means it'll probably get the same treatment that Dragon Quest VIII did, and they'll just release it when they feel like it and not tell anybody, and it'll just kind of show up one day. Um, and then the other piece of news, and this one's interesting, and this one leaves room for a lot of speculation. Uh, I was greeted to this when I got home. Thank you, Ashes, for letting me know. Thank you, Cranberry. Thank you, the 15 people who also mentioned it to me. I'm sorry if I don't remember all your names. Uh, Ashes and Cranberry are the one that I saw first. The IP block is gone for Dragon Quest X, and it's just like the weirdest random thing, but it's gone. You can totally get on Dragon Quest X now without a VPN. This does a couple of things. One, it lowers the amount of trouble for foreigners to get into the game. It means we don't have to go through VPNs anymore, which is going to do two things. Better connection to the game, because bouncing through a VPN generally doesn't give you the best connection. Um, two, for those of us who aren't that handy with computers and didn't want to get into it at this point because setting up a VPN might be kind of a pain depending on the various skill levels that people are at with their machines. Um, good for you. I mean, you can just log in natively now. It's not even an issue. So there's that good piece of news. What does that mean for the game, though? Well, a lot of people are thinking, hey, this might be because an international release is coming up. Well, that's a possibility, but, uh, and this I'm also crediting with Ashes, he made a really good point, the 3DS version is out now. People are going to be traveling with their 3DSs and playing Dragon Quest X and logging in from their 3DSs. How much of a pain in the ass would it be if you, a Japanese citizen, are on a trip somewhere or a business trip and you're outside of Japan and you're like, oh sweet, I'll just bring along my 3DS and I can still play Dragon Quest X in my off time. <gasps> why can't I log in? Oh, there's an IP block. Why, why did they give me a portable version of the game? Why did that happen? So that's probably what it is. Um, there is, of course, an entire realm of possibilities for what's going on with it. So, uh, that's the news today. This is Quester's Rest. This is not permanent, I promise you. My hair is drying right now, so it's tied back. Uh, that's it. Peace out, guys. I'll see you all next time.